today with my weekly wax basket. I am behind this weekend. We took some time yesterday to get a few things done. So I am filming this on Sunday. If you haven't seen my empties, those will go up both on Sunday today. So check it out, look for those. I know typically <laughs> the empties go up on Saturday and the wax basket goes up on Sunday, but <laughs> we just got behind a little bit this weekend. So I thought I'd put them up both on the same day for you guys. So let's jump into the weekly wax basket, show you what I pulled out. If you've already seen my empties video, you know what the theme is for the week. It is not reaching for it. So I wasn't quite sure how to really phrase that, but I think as wax <laughs> enthusiasts or wax addicts, we all have purchased some wax or maybe received it in a mystery box or a swap or even like a de-stash, some extras of some scents that when we got it, we were kind of like, huh, not necessarily bad, but something that we don't typically reach for, for whatever reason. And there could be lots of, lots of reasons why. Maybe we prefer other scents from a vendor or we're just not feeling it. You know, mood melting is definitely a thing for me. Same as seasonal melting. I was <laughs> saying is being a weather melter a thing too? I think it is because it just depends on the weather, what I feel like melting. So for some reason, for whatever reason, and like I said, there could be many of them, I haven't been reaching for these particular scents and maybe I pulled it out for a basket and then just never melted it, just wasn't calling my name at that particular time. So what I thought I would do is go through my collection and pull out all of the scents for some reason that were not calling my name and just do a big week of it. And I was inspired actually by the butter pecan ice cream from Hayden Rowe that I melted. What was it? Was it last week or the week before? I never reached for that one. I, it was just okay on cold sniff to me. And I just was kind of like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to like this. I melted it and I have been converted. <laughs> That's a fabulous scent. And you know what? I could have missed it if she restocked it. She probably has. And I've missed picking up some more of it because it just wasn't appealing to me, maybe on cold. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do a week and actually have more than this. So we're gonna probably repeat this at another time in the future, but you know, just some sense maybe, or vendors maybe that are not working for me as well as I would like them to, that I thought, you know what? We're just gonna melt it. We're gonna see what works and what doesn't. And either way, we've moved on with our collection and I can repurchase the ones that I really liked out of this. So that is my basket for the week. So I'm excited to jump into it. Where should we start? I didn't pull out the candle of the week. So I guess you'll be surprised when I do a review on it. It's actually burning in my living room right now. <laughs> so I guess there'll be a surprise candle review this week. It's a Bath and Body Works candle. So stay tuned for that. It should be out later in the week. All right, so let's do the bathroom scents first. I do have my handy dandy bin over here and I'll start putting some things in there when we get into the main living space. Okay, so this first one here is from the Scented Squirrel. It's Avo Agave and Avo Bath and Agave Lime. So this was a huge piece that she had in her odds and ends section. I picked this back up and back in March. You know what? I think it really truly is. This was a huge piece and I just didn't, I was lazy and didn't want to cut into it. So guess what? I cut into it. This smells fantastic. I'm excited. I love Avo Bath. So we'll give this one some time this week. I also have Dessa's Homespun Scents, Soarin' Above, which is Hang Glide over Malibu, Orange Groves, Redwood Trees, and Ocean. And then another one I thought might be interesting in the bathroom, Pink Pear Pleasure, Pear, Macintosh Apple, and Pink Sugar. So I do love Pink Sugar in the bathroom, so I thought maybe that would be good to try from Rose Girls there. So you'll notice I did, I was trying to eliminate any excuses on my part or laziness on my part. I did go through and cut everything in here so that it's ready to go. So it's not a matter of, mm, do I really want to mess with this? Because, you know, I've got five, 10 minutes in between meetings. Do I really want to mess around with it? I'll pick something else that's already cut. I eliminated that. All right, so then we also have the Pharmacist Daughter Island Escape, which is Salty Sea Air and Barbershop. I'll cut that one as well. 
And the last one for the bathroom is Gold Sugar from L3. All right, so for the bedroom, I have a few in there already. I've kind of been moving out away from some of the fizzy scents at the moment because I don't know, I'm wondering if that's seasonal for me as well. They haven't been as appealing to me, so I'm kind of wondering. I'm trying some other bakery scents in there, and so I thought maybe I could continue that. I pulled this Zape Loopy Peeps Treats, which is Fruity Pebbles Rice Krispies and Marshmallow Fluff. Thought I would try that. I do have a couple. I mean, they're, they were in the soda sampler, but they're not super fizzy to me. We have Zape Helium, Fruity Pebbles, Citrus Fizz, and Strawberry Cotton Candy. I have a clam of that. And then two from the Rainbow Melts Fizzy Sampler, Strawberry Soda and Volcano, which you guys know we love Volcano here, and the Orange, orange Soda Orange Chiffon Cake from Rainbow Melts. So I thought those would be good combined with what I already have in there. I think that will be good for the week. Let me move these out and then we can get to the main living space. All right, next up I have several from Dessa's. We have Mad as a Hatter, Black Chai Tea, Orange Zest, Orange, and Almond Crumpets. So some of her grubby cakes that she has. Be Our Royal Guest, The Gray Stuff, Red Velvet, Berry Puree, Mousse, and Sugar Cookies. We have Orange Grove, which is Zesty Oranges and Orange Peel. And then we have Huckleberry Lane, Nana's Homemade Fresh Huckleberry Preserves. Next, I have Princess Cut from Salt Mountain Melts, Cupcakes at Tiffany's, Cherry and Wedding Cake. Cut this one up, because now I'm cutting them up. Sunday Shop, also from Salt Mountain, Strawberry Pound Cake, Waffle Cone, and Vanilla Ice Cream. Right there. I have from Zape, Lemon Glazed Cream Puffs, Lemon Curd, Vanilla Glaze, and Cream Puffs, right there. I had Hufflepuff, and there was another one in here, I'm trying to remember, it was like Vermont Honey and Pear. So they're both in here because I didn't have much Hufflepuff left. So I will go ahead and combine those two. I thought that would be interesting. So Hufflepuff, of course, is fresh baked cookies, sweet cinnamon sugar, and pumpkin pasties. Those right here, along with the Vermont Honey and Pear. I think that's a Bath & Body Works type, I wanna say. So I, that's the green in here. I have much more of that. I needed something to mix in with it because it wasn't enough wax. I thought the one little piece of Hufflepuff that I had left would be good. Then I have this pumpkin pecan waffles sugar cookie sugar cookie royale and hufflepuff from l3 little chunk what was it a chunk muffin i want to say or chunk bunt chunky bunt that's what it was and then i have this pharmacist daughter different is beautiful pumpkin pecan waffles sugar cookie dough vanilla buttercream and birthday cake so thought i would use this and kind of supplement with this one I think that'll be really good. We have Empire Alchemy 7th and Fig, Strawberry Shortcake, Fig Jam, Rhubarb, and Citrus Bakery. I just love the vibrant colors of that one. Look at that. Very pretty. All right, we have Reaper from Wolf Wix, Apples, White Chocolate, Campfire, and Powdered Sugar. I don't know, I'm not a huge, the reason I'm <laughs> reaching for this, I'm not a huge campfire fan. We will see. I might end up pulling out a vanilla bakery to kind of mix in with this and kind of subdue it a little bit, but I will report back and let you know what I did. Birdie's Making Sense, Bready Set Go, Raspberry Jam, and a slight hint of zucchini bread. I love this one, but I think I'm not reaching for it because I don't want it to be gone, but guess what? <laughs> We're using it. <laughs> no reason to hoard. We're going to use it. And then if I don't have enough, I pulled this one, Midnight Daydream, Donut Land, Berry Jam Donut, and Krispy Kreme type. So I thought that would be good to kind of supplement. This one might be one of my last bits <laughs> of a blend with Palo Santo in it. I will say I like the mint in this one. I'm just, you guys know I don't like Palo Santo. This is Dr. Sleep's Mint Leaves, Lavender Vanilla, Palo Santo, and Moroccan Mint. I like the mint in this one. I really kind of do. So we're gonna give it a try. You know, it does scare me, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try. All right, Empire Alchemy, Coconut Macadamia Pancakes, Macadamia Nuts, Maple Pancakes, Coconut Whipped Cream, and Fresh Berries. 
we have tray leches cake, strawberry bread, and sugar milk from L3. We have, this one's really good. I have melted this before. I think I didn't want to melt this because of the shape. Again, cutting it up, it was a gorgeous like pie slice and it's just so pretty. I didn't want to, I didn't want to cut it, but you know what? We're going to enjoy this. This is banana pudding from Zabe, vanilla wafers, whipped cream, and sweet bananas. Then I have some scent shot cups. We have Dessa's homespun scents, spoonful of sugar, ice cream, lemon sugar cookie, waffle cone, and crushed lemon candies, right? Is that what this is? Yeah. And then midnight daydream, friendship cookie, Noel, friendship bread, and Noel sugar cookies. I thought I would melt. So those will be in alternating warmers because you guys know I need two scent shot cups to fill out my warmers in my living room and dining room. We have Dessa's Homespun Scents, Caramel Apple French Toast, which is French toast, baked apples, cinnamon, and caramel sauce. And then in alternating warmers, we'll do Snow's Poison Apple, Macintosh Apple, Gooey Caramel, White Chocolate, and Caramelized Pralines. All right, then we have Chunky Monkey Latte from Midnight Daydream, Mochaccino, I believe that's what it is, Banana Walnut Muffins, and Maple Bread Pudding here. And we have Take Five from the Melted Mousse, Crunchy Salted Pretzels, Creamy Caramel, and a Hint of Milk Chocolate. I don't know why I haven't pulled that. I think I did one other time and it just wasn't calling my name. I do like chocolate and wax, so I don't know. You know, you just never know why something doesn't, you know, reach for it, so we're gonna try it. And then I have two of these, Cereal Land from Midnight Daydream, Frosted Cereal, Fruity Marshmallow Bits, and Vanilla Milk. So we have two of those. All right, and I know I'm not gonna finish all of these. You guys know the last week of the month I do using up the leftovers. I believe we're do. I don't know if what we're doing because the last week of the month is going to be Halloween and I'm gonna be doing spooky shapes. So I have to look at my, I have it planned out. We'll see what we're gonna do, but we will be doing a use up the leftovers. They'll go in sometime <laughs> upcoming. It might just be a larger basket, we'll see. All right, we have Empire Alchemy, Good Day Sunshine, Lemon Rind, Vanilla Cookies, Baked Raspberry Bars, and Vanilla Crumb Donut. We have Remember the Cant from That Small Good Shop, Vanilla Browned Butter and Cinnamon Sugar. I just love her little squares. <laughs> I just love them. We have a butter beer from L3. This was in a mystery bag and I'm a little like, huh. This one was an extra sample that Britta sent along. I did not put it in the bin where I'm picking out one a day. I thought I would use this here and because I probably need to supplement. So I don't know, I might be putting these together. It might be a weird combo. You know what, we can be adventurous. I think it's not labeled, but it smells like Dean to me. So we will see. And then I have some coffee, pardon my reach <laughs> over there. We have Birdie's Making Sense, You're Steaming Hot, Strong Black Coffee with a Hint of Spicy Cinnamon. I've been saving this for the fall because spicy cinnamon, you guys know. Rainbow Melts, we have Coffee Bar, which is espresso and butterscotch bourbon. We have But First Coffee, Starbucks Coffee Cinnamon Toast Crunch Cereal. I have another Rainbow Melts here, I Love You A Latte, Caramel Latte, Peppermint and Marshmallow Cream. I think the peppermint was throwing me off. I don't normally melt, I don't think, like mint in my coffee scent. So that's probably what's been holding me back, but we're gonna give it a try. Watch, I'm gonna love it, <laughs> we'll see. And we have Empire Alchemy, Big Bad Wolf, Hazelnut Coffee, Campfire Marshmallow, Donuts, and Spiced Caramel Strudel. So I'm enjoying these fun shapes. They're very easy, I don't have to cut them. So we will give those a try. So that is my weekly wax basket, except for, <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> we are doing a vendor of the month. And if you watched my video on Friday, if not, go back and watch it. Our vendor of the month is going to be Britta's Creepy Treasures. So I'm going to be pulling out of my bin. I'm calling it a bin. So it's like a storage tub, storage bin, whatever you want to call it. The wax that I put in there, I put quite a bit of her wax, almost all of my collection, honestly, except for the ones that I had duplicates of because I wanted to melt 31 different sets. Now, I'm not saying I'm not gonna mess up 
because <laughs> there are a lot of scents. Obviously, I might have a duplicate here and there. We'll see. I'll try to catch it if I can. But, you know, give me some grace if I screw that up. I'm trying to melt a wide variety of her scents so that I can give you guys reviews on them and then I can pick out the ones that are my favorites for when she does a restock. So let me pull my bin out and we will pick those together. So I have my basket or my bin, I call it a bin, storage tub, whatever you guys wanna call it here with all of my Brita's wax for the month of October. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna reach in and pull seven cents out of this bin <laughs> and I will melt those in my house at some point over the week. So one melt a day. They could be in my bathroom, bedroom, this office, and in my main living space. I think I got everything, <laughs> all of the rooms covered there. And so it'll be a way for me to try out a lot of Britta's Wax for the month of October, me to share my thoughts with all of you and decide what I wanna purchase the next time she offers it. So it's a very exciting way to try a lot of Britta's Wax over the course of this month and who better to choose for October but Britta's Creepy Treasures. So let's go ahead and pull these out. It's kind of a blind pull. So let's see, the first one that we have is Sweet Silence. Monster Delight, Pink Sugar, and Pink Berry and Tonka. I forget when Monster Delight is. Is that, we'll have to look it up and see. I don't know if it's a cereal scent or not. This next one is a Vampire Punch, Hawaiian Punch, Bora Bora, and Cherry. One of her skulls there. Okay, mix it up. Next one is, <laughs> this one got sat on by somebody at the post office. I will tell you, that box. I mean, the wax melts the same, but I think I posted a picture on my Instagram. It's like, what were they doing? Anyway, this is Spa Succubus, Avo Bath, So White Type, and Hawaiian Punch. So we have that one. Okay, next one is Cromwell Cookies, Sugar Cookie Royale, Sugar Cookie Dough, Animal Crackers, and Vanilla Ice Cream. We have Murder in Paradise, Island, or Gain Island Fresh. I almost said Island Fresh Gain. <laughs> Hawaiian Punch and Margarita. They're probably the same thing. I don't know. All right. We'll do this one. White Cake, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. I'm going to drop it. And the final one, let's go into the corner over here. What do we have here? Oh, cookie coma, peanut butter cookies, chocolate chip cookie dough, and sweet and creamy. So those are my seven cents for the week. So I will be enjoying those over the course of the next seven days, obviously. <laughs> and we'll report back in my empties, let you know how they did for me, what were my favorites. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I've had fun in the first three days of the month already melting Britta's wax. It's been great. So I look forward to sharing my thoughts with you all. Hopefully this week I will put up a couple of haul videos. I do have the wax here and <laughs> the shipments came in. Just depending on my schedule and how much time I end up having, I'll try to get those up for you guys this week. I'm hoping that I can. Fingers crossed. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed already. Go ahead and turn on all notifications. Give me a like for this video and I will see you next time. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.